On today's video, we're going to talk about getting bit off by Northern Pike. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And hey, has this ever happened to you guys? Uh, you're out walleye fishing, maybe you're pitching around a jig and a minnow, or maybe you're out bass fishing, and you're pitching around a super fluke, and, and you get a nice hit, and you go to set the hook, and oh, there's nothing there. So you reel up, and you realize there's literally nothing there. You know, you, you were clean bit off by some kind of toothy critter, right? And uh, me and my buddies have always called that getting piked. Because uh, for us, more often than not, yeah, a northern pike is the culprit. You know, uh, most of the lakes that I fish have northern pike. So, you know, wh what do you do about that, right? You just kind of live with it or you kind of try to do something about it? Well, you know, a lot of people might say, hey, uh, you know, go with a wire leader, right? Wire leaders, pike can't bite through wire leaders, you know. If you got pike biting you off, go with a wire leader. Well... You know, some of these uh, wire leaders can be a little clunky, right? You know, here's a here's a fluke set up with a wire leader. It, it, it just it really doesn't look very good. Here's a, here's a little walleye jig with a wire leader. It just doesn't look very good. And really, you know, some of these uh, finesse presentations, uh, like these ones, uh, you know, a big, heavy, clunky wire leader on them, it's, it's really going to diminish the effectiveness of that setup, right? So... You know, I, I really try to stay away uh, from the wire, especially fishing like that. You know, even some of these smaller, thinner wire leaders, you know, they can, they can still kind of uh, mess up the setup with some of these uh, finesse presentations. So, you know, what I've been doing for about 20 years now is I make up my own fluorocarbon leaders. And what that does for me, one thing, they're very stealthy, right? Fluorocarbon, you guys know that fluorocarbon is very difficult for fish to see in the water. Um, so what that allows us to do is to maybe go with a heavier pound test. You know, we're not really sacrificing much stealth when we go with a heavier pound test, especially with the fluorocarbon. So if you're interested in the science behind why fluorocarbon leaders are difficult to see in the water, I did do a video on that. Go to my channel, Knetter's Practical Outdoors, and the title of the video is why are fluorocarbon leaders better? It really gets into the science behind why it's difficult to see fluorocarbon in the water. Now, I like to use like 14 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon leaders when I do these up. And, you know, I know even a small pike can bite through 14 to 20 pound test. You know, I know they can do that. They got really sharp teeth. But at least it's a little bit better than going with maybe your eight pound mono that you might have been casting. And you know, even like this setup here, uh, I've got like 20 pound test fire line on this one. I, I still like to tie on this fluorocarbon leader. And I tie it on with an ant swivel, you know, that's how I tie it onto the main line. But even if the main line is something that a pike would have trouble biting through, I still like these uh, uh, fluorocarbon leaders for their invisibility, their stealthiness. Um, I, I really think, especially in clear water, I do think that you'll get bit more by going with something like a fluorocarbon as opposed to, you know, this kind of opaque, you know, solid, like a, like a braid would be, or, or even fire line. So I do think uh, you'll get bit more, even if you're not that worried about getting bit off. And I also like to use fluorocarbon leaders, you know, when I'm using crankbaits and stick baits, right? Again, I like the stealth. The invisibility of the fluorocarbon and I do not like losing nine dollar crankbaits to 16 inch pike. You know some of these uh, fluorocarbon lines come advertised as being very castable right something you could use for your main line but uh, me personally I have not had a lot of success uh, using some of these fluorocarbons as my main line. Um, you know maybe you guys out there have a name brand that works good for you um, if you do, uh, leave a comment, let me know. I'd probably give it a try. But uh, anyway, so there's a quick tip, you know, to help you keep uh, some of the pike from biting you off without sacrificing getting bit by some of those walleyes and bass, right? That's, that's the trick. That's the key to it. So uh, anyways, hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. 
This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.